blessed. I'm, I'm really proud to, of Andre. I'm really proud of him for continuing his service in the Air Force Reserve while uh, enduring a demanding career at uh, Pratt and Whitney and, and balancing a family life. It's a, it's a really uh, important sacrifice and, and really shows his selfless service and his devotion to duty uh, to protect our security, defend our freedom, and our right to do things like we do today. So uh, amazing, amazing example of many of our veterans here in Connecticut. And of course, the thing that impressed me at the time about him more than anything else uh, was one, he had a great unit and they were doing a great job. But the more impressive thing was, is that I could see how the people around him respected him so much. And most importantly, the people that he led not only respected him, they liked him. It's one of those things where you just don't have to be able to experience this uh, this type of an occasion that often. Uh, making Colonel in the U.S. Air Force is it is significant, and the fact that I'm able to share it here with my family and friends, uh, folks from Pratt Whitney, folks from the church, the neighbors, and my immediate family is just really uh, amazing to be able to be here and uh, have that many people stand in my corner and be a cheerleader. It's really, really impressive. To be able to have an uh, employer like Pratt & Whitney and UTC to be able to support that, it, it, is, uh, it is really special. 